All right, this is Ricky here at Boom Racing, and just showing you the new uh, Pro Builds that we've just come out with. Uh, just an unboxing and to show you the different colors and options that you can do and build different types of wheels. Uh, they are very unique, they come standard with a 4 offset um, build that you can do to one wheel. Uh, just showing you an unboxing of this product, to show you what you get inside, so let's get into it. Right. So, and the first unbox the wheels, they come in this EVA foam. Uh, they're attached with some plastic screws for transport purpose. So you obviously get two wheels. And some hardware. And the hardware you actually get quite a bit of it. Oh, and you also get the instructions. Instruction manual as well. It's quick to show you how to assemble it and different offsets that you can do. Alright. So in here, in the box you get first of all a nice little two mil uh, scale socket. Uh, tool that you use to do your sockets up for the scale screws. Uh, also, you receive a 7mm socket adapter. Uh, we decided to include this because some of the sockets that you probably have might not fit into the actual hole to do up the wheel, so we included this piece for people to be able to use the normal socket. So if you've got a normal driver like this and it's too big to fit into the actual space, we give you this piece to attach to your tool so you can do up the actual wheel nut. And, right, so let's get out of the way. So you get all the necessary hardware. So for your 2.5 mils for your hubs, uh, some long starter screws. I mean, these are very important because uh, you use these to actually assemble your wheel. And you also get the actual nylon nut. So that's, that's in your first packet. And the other pack, you get some scale screws. So you can attach scale screws, so scale hardware to your actual wheels. But we also give you the option of putting normal cup heads on. So you will receive scale screws and the normal cup heads in one set of wheels. So it's doubled up, so you can choose whether you want to do scale or just normal uh, one five um, cup heads to install your wheels with. Right, so oh, you do also get some stickers, but I haven't got them here right now. Uh, just to get this out of the way. Show you a few options that you can actually get. So here I have actually installed um, some acrylic clear plastic wheels. I mean, not plastic wheels, but the faceplate. So showing you different types of color of hardware that you can use. And these are actually, the acrylics are actually available in your uh, 
six lug or five lug. I don't know if you can see them quite clear. Maybe if we do that. So there's your six lugs. And then your five lugs. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so these will be available separately and also as a complete wheel, but we haven't actually released that one out yet. And um, just to show you completely again, so you've got your acrylic. It's quite unique, so it shows up your shows off your calipers and your disc brakes. If you, for instance, run it on a BRX01 with the caliper and disc system. So I'll show you the other side with a different color scheme. It just shows the options are quite wide. <laughs> so there's tons of different types of variants of how you want to build your wheels. That's the beauty about these wheels. The, the flexibility is so big that Whatever you think of, you can probably make out of these wheels. The colour, the style. Uh, we will be coming out with a load more different face plates. So if you do have bought a set of Pro Build wheels and you want to change the style of the wheel, you can just buy the face plate on its own. Yeah, just showing you all the different types of colours and colour schemes you can actually build and put them face up so you can see. These are just a few options that I've built up just to show people that the colour mix and match system that we have for the custom build side that you can find in the boom racing um, you can build endless amounts of different types of variants and also different types of offsets as well as uh, this is one of the main features of this wheel so you can see obviously here you've got a very deep dish version and then a not so deep dish. Uh, I think the deepest ones I've built is this one here. Uh, just to show you, if you can see it. Got different types of deep dish. I think there is one more option. Hold on, right now. Two seconds. Um, Here I would say, here are the four, four different types of dishes that you can actually build onto. And the customization doesn't end there. So we will be coming on face plates with different um, lugs, like for the hub adapters. At the minute you see they're all six, but we will be coming out with five. And uh, so obviously you've got the, diff the four different offsets that you can do with the face plate on its own. And then also on top of that, you have different hub adapters that you can use. So here we have the six lugs. So you've got five different offsets that you can choose from here. And then here are the five lugs that there's four different ones you can choose from. So it's saying so if you want it really, really wide, you can use the widest one and then have it the deepest dish. And then that will actually push your wheel out really far. Or if you want to like tuck it right in, you can also use a pin version. So that eliminates the hex completely, the 12mm hex that you usually find in your axle. Okay, 
So after that, I mean, in the custom side, you can also customize your hardware. So you got black screws to attach your hub with, or you can choose your silver screws to attach the hub with. So you got different options. And also, here okay, your outer hardware, your scale screws. They're available in three colors. So you got your gold, silver, and black. And here's one that I like mix and match with black and silver screws. So you can customize the wheels however you want, whatever color scheme you actually have on your car. Right, so you can see there's actually 12 different colors that we will be coming out with. And there will be a 13th color, but I'm not going to reveal what that is just yet. That will come at a later date. And it's a rather special color, but you'll see. <laughs> Alright, so let's um, move on. And now I'm going to show you the actual installation of one of these wheels. Let me just get a bit of room up here. Think what color scheme you like and you want to build. So, right, wheel actually comes in five pieces, not including the hub. So, the hub comes after. So, you obviously get your wheel, I mean, your tire, and you insert the actual centering into your tire. Put that in, make sure it's nice and centered and then you get your one of the barrels put it in flip around line up the holes of the actual rings inside to the other one makes it a lot easier after to install so you'd have to twist it so, right. make sure everything is centered Correctly. Okay. Right, once you actually get to this stage, you can choose either to put your face plate on the not the least deep dish side, or you can put it on the deepest side. So depending on which side you want to install it, or you can actually flip this round and install it on this side as well. So then you get a nice blue outer ring or you can install it on this side so it's actually less I mean not as deep and you still got the blue outer ring or you install it on this side and you got the gold ring on the outside so I'm gonna install it this side so it's easier to see so this is where the starter screws are very important so you put your starter screws actually through the actual hole through all three pieces at the minute line this up a little bit better that's what I mean with lining the holes up so the better you line up these holes the easier the install it will be just Right, so you got your face plate and the starter screw, install that, and this is actually the lock ring. This is a steel lock ring, so you don't have to worry about the thread being stripped out. And you place that in the back, and then you do up the starter screw. So I tend to use four. I mean, you get them included in your actual um, wheel set. So, start it out. Right. 
So as you know, when you do a bead locks, you don't do up one side all in one go. You do a bit at a time at each corner to make sure it compresses the bead evenly. So these screws just help with insulation. So you snap these down. So all the pieces are now completely compressed and in the actual location that you want. Then you get your scale screws or the normal cuphead screws, depending on which what, what build you want to do. And then you get your scale screws and comes with this handy little tool. So you just put your scale screw in and start screwing all the scale screws in. And just the just finger tight will do because it's already snapped down so you don't have to overdo it. Because you already snapped the wheel down, you don't have to actually do them like in all different corners because it's actually already all compressed. So you can just go clockwise or anti-clockwise and do up all the actual scale screws. Right, so once you have all the scale, well, most of the scale screws and you still got the four little uh, pilot screws in there, so you undo them. Right. So these are literally just to cinch your wheel down and clamp your bead lock down. And once you've taken the four pilot screws out, you put the rest of the scale screws in. And then the same process. Just do them up. So now you have your actual bead installed. Uh, it holds the tire really well, as you can see. I am pulling on it hard, and the tire is not coming off. Okay. Right. So once you do that, you can then install your. Uh, widener, your wheel hub. Uh, you can choose different offsets, as I said. So you've got your different sizes up here. So depending on how far you want it tucked in or stuck, uh, sticking out, you can set your hub. Here we go. So you got one installed wheel on the tire. So yes, it might have a lot of screws, but it's not actually that hard to install the actual tire on these rims. So I hope you enjoyed the video and just to show you what it could look like on one of your trucks. So you got different types of offsets built onto the actual wheel so you can have the same face just running a different offset okay. and on the custom side there is also a wheel hub I mean a center cap that you can choose uh, I haven't got any here in a minute to show you but um, I'll do a later update video on 
showing you how to install the actual center cap. Uh, but the five um, stud hubs, they have a center cap on them as well. So it just completes the scale look. And I hope you enjoyed this video and tune in for some more updates and our latest and greatest products. Thank you. Alright, now here I'm going to show you how you can customize your own Pro Build beadlock wheels. And you simply go to the Boom Racing website and you go into the customize beadlock section for the Pro Builds. So to start off with, you select the amount of wheels that you want. So you can select however many you want on here. And it will also calculate the price as you're actually doing this. So say we want a set of four, so I select four. Uh, then second option would be to select the wheel width. So you select the wheel width. At the moment, there's only standard ones available, but there will be wide ones and narrow ones available at later date. So let's select the standard one. So you select the standard width. And now the colors, right, wheelbarrow color. So that's the outer edge part. So let's say I want a green outer bow. You'll see it will load a green bow. And then now you choose a faceplate style. So depending on which one you want, at a later date there will be a load more different faceplates. At the moment we only have two. So you've got a MAG-10 and an SV-5. So I want the SV-5. So let's select the SV-5. It will show you a normal grey coloured one. But if you want to choose a different colour for it, as you haven't selected a colour yet, so you select the colour for the faceplate. And I say I want a, a purple one. So then I've got purple centre. Right. So the next thing to choose is your hub size. So the hub size, depending on how wide you want it or how much you want it tucked in, you choose your different hub size. At the moment, they are only uh, six lux, but five lux will be available at a later date as well. So obviously this also depends on what faceplate you choose. So let's say I want 604. So I'm choosing 604. And it will automatically load it onto there. Uh, you can't see the actual width of it, but it will come with the 604 width. Uh, there are pictures to show you, illustrate how uh, wide they are. So that's down to the actual person, so depending on how wide they want it. So the next thing you know, uh, you choose is your steel lock ring. So the steel lock ring, you can choose a black one or a chrome one. So for the chrome ones, because the process does take a lot, lot uh, more to do, you can choose. Uh, it will cost you an extra dollar for each um, chrome ring. So if you choose the chrome, it'll be an extra four dollars because it's four wheels. You got to remember. But if you want to use just the standard black. We can just choose the standard black. So let's choose the standard black. So put the black wheel on, but you cannot see it because it's uh, at the back in a minute. And next you choose your outer hardware. So that's your scale screws, your normal cap head screws. And depending on what you want, you can choose different ones. So we have um, the scale screws we have in black, silver or gold. And I want to have black ones for this one. So black scale screws. So as you're doing this process, it also calculates the actual amount that will come up to. So I've chosen black screws, black scale screws. And the next, you can choose your wheel center cap. So, um, 
your wheel center cap you can choose either none then you'd have to pay extra or you can have three different types of center caps so depending on what style you want and uh, you just choose that one and remember the price on the back is for each wheel so if I want the SV uh, S100 I select S100 and it will calculate it and also in put put the actual center cap on there and then you can also choose the color of the actual center cap so I want it in black so every step it actually loads the picture and shows you what you've built and your hub hardware is your screws that hold your hub on and I want black ones as well and here you go this is a complete wheel so now you've selected the um, finished customizing your wheel you then and click on pre-order and actually place your order so i hope this was helpful and shows you how you can actually select the things that you want and how to operate the customization page for the pro build wheels okay thank you